Well, it has been a heck of a week for musicians' birthdays, but we're only going to celebrate one of them because to my surprise and delight as I was studying this week's list, tomorrow, tomorrow is Donald Lunny's birthday. Donald Lunny, bazookiest and producer extraordinaire. And by the way, if you're wondering what a bazooki is, it's a Greek instrument that became foundational to Irish music largely because of Donald, and it sounds something like this. Which is a tune that I heard Donald Lunny play with Planksting. So, Lunny is also the only founding member of both Planksty and the Bothy Band, which is basically the Irish equivalent of being a founding member of the Beatles and the Stones. <laughs> Donald helped form Planksty in 1972, and if you haven't had the pleasure, pick up The Well Below the Valley, which is a veritable feast of improvised counterpoint between Donald's bazooki and Andy Irvine's mandolin. Here's the second track off that record. This is Pat Riley. Mm, one, two, three. Mm. It being on the Monday morning, it being our payday, we met Sergeant Jenkins at our going away. He says to Pat Riley, you are a handsome young man, now come to John Kelly's and we will get a jam. And while we sat there boozing and drinking our jam, he says to Pat Riley, you are a handsome young man, I'd have you take the bounty and come along with me to the sweet county Longsford, strange faces there you'll see. Oh, no kind sir, a soldier's life with me would not agree For I'd never want to be bounded up from my liberty Cause I live as happy as a prince, my mind it tells me so So fare thee well, I'm just going down my shard, no far to throw Oh, are you in a hurry? Are you going away? Oh, won't you stop and listen to these words I'm going to say? Perhaps and now, Pat Riley, you might do something worse than to leave your native country and enlist on the back horse. Mr. Chris Albers there playing the bazooki part of Donald Lunny. So if Planksty is the Beatles, the Stones are the Bothy Band, which Donald left Planksty to form in 1975. Julie Fowlis, how and when did you first hear of the Bothy Band? I actually didn't hear of the Bothy Band until I was in my late teens. Um, but in the 70s, they combined Irish traditional music with, with some Scottish Gaelic songs, actually. And uh, they just absolutely set the traditional music world on fire. Mm. And tell us a bit about this beautiful song in Gaelic from their second record, I think. Yeah, it's one of my favourites. It's, it's a really beautiful traditional song. It's from the Hebrides. And it was sung by the late and the wonderful Michal O'Donnell, who is uh, very sorely missed. And uh, this, uh, like so many Gaelic songs, is a song of unrequited love. Uh, okay, so it, it looks like Colum Seguer. What is it, what is it actually called, the song? <laughs> the song is called Colum Skadia. Sorrow, 
this One more time for the miracle that is Julie Fallis. So just cash, only cash, only cash. Sometimes I feel like the measure of a musician is how often their work is played by other musicians. I've heard the jig we're about to play at just about every Irish session I've ever attended and played more or less exactly how Donald Lunny and company recorded it. Here from the Bathy Band's eponymous debut is the Kesh Jig. One, two, three, uh. back there on the fiddle. And we'll polish off this Donal Lunny birthday celebration with a song from Paul Brady's de debut solo record, Welcome Here, Kind Stranger, recorded under Donal's watchful ears. As producer, here's Aoife O'Donovan with I Am a Youth That's Inclined to Ramble. I am a youth that's inclined to ramble To some foreign country I mean to steer And loath to part from my friends and comrades And my dear sweetheart whom I love dear But there's one of those Since fate's decreed, I am resolved to part her and court a vision in America. So farewell, darling, since I must leave you. I place great dependence on your constancy. But no, the Change your mind when I want to see. For though the seas they do separate us, I live but 
Thank you for that, Eva O'Donovan. Happy birthday, Donald Lunny. 